What is going on guys? It's Armada. <sighs> Let me tell you guys, it feels so good to say that again. I have not been uploading in, like, I think it was a few days. It was almost a week, It was, or it's probably a week when you're watching this. But I'm very sorry for not publishing videos for you guys. I know, I know there's a lot of you guys that are just waiting for the videos and I'm really sorry. But this, you guys already know what it is. It's from reading the title and seeing the thumbnail. You already know what it is. But it's the top five best maps in Call of Duty Zombie. Now before I get started with this video, make sure you guys leave a like to let me know you guys are loving these top fives. And also, if you guys don't agree with this top five, make sure you guys leave your own little top five. Because you know, this is my opinion and you guys can leave your little top five in the comment section. To let me know what you guys think is the top five best map. I already got the whole list right here, so I I'm I'm freaking ready. I'm ready to do this top five worst, I mean best, maps of Call of Duty Zombies. But yeah, guys, let's get started. By the way, that montage had nothing to do with the actual video. But in our number five spot, we got the giant. You can call it whatever, you can call it Doris or the giant, it's the same thing, but Doris has been with us for quite a while. We got it with World at War, then they remastered it with Black Ops, and then we got it at... When we first got it, we loved it. When we got it again, we loved it. And the Black Ops 3 version, we still love it today. I love this map. It may be a small map, and there might not be um, any really cool easter eggs, but just playing and looking at the map itself is just a very nostalgic feel, especially when you're playing it and go back to the actual first version of the map with the whole colors and stuff, and just playing this map just gives a normal, chill vibe the way Zombies is supposed to be. And also, if you guys want to go for high rounds on this map, go ahead and make sure you stay on that catwalk and just get a bunch of kills to go on a high round. It's such a chill map. If you guys are having a hard day, you can just hop on the giant or Dries, whatever you want to call it, and just play and you guys will have a fun time playing Dries. We know that the giant is always loved by the community, but there's not really much to say just because how small the map is and, you know, it, it's just the giant. We got it three times and we still love it. I still love it. But, yeah. Um. The Giant, number five. In our number four spot, we got Golrod Krovi. One of the most newest maps, but kind of kind of a little old like i think it's like a year old now but kind of an old new map god crovey was always one of my favorites and that's why it's in the number four spot it's near the end of the storyline where we get this awesome ass map and there's a truck outside of my house i don't know we see dragons and stalingrad and how the whole place looks now with freaking dragons everything is all burnt and all that stuff and the thing that really makes this map fun is is some of the weapons we got a bunch of weapons in this dlc not only did we get the new shadow claws which is freaking cool the ffar the PPSH and the Raygun Mark III, we got a bunch of stuff during the Golrod Krovi, and this made the map really, really fun just to shoot the zombies with the old style weapon. Some of the weapons are actually old, like the PPSH, everybody wanted this weapon. And then what they did is they brought it to Golrod Krovi, and it really fits in the map. Everyone was hoping for this weapon, and they got it in Golrod Krovi. The Easter egg is also something to note down as by far one of my favorites easter eggs of all time i love gar Krovi's easter egg this map really had so much story in it we got to see sophia and we also saw gersh and then at the ending cutscene of the easter egg we see richtofen in the summoning key as he points it at the sky and then shoots a giant beam in the sky which is pretty dang cool we also see peter mccain in the intro cutscene there's so much story in this map which makes the map even greater to play and just analyze through which is why freaking goard crovey is in our number four spot 
in our number three spot, we got Der Eisendraha. Now, I feel like I don't even need to say any more because this map is one of my favorites, or possibly my favorite map in Black Ops 3's DLCs, but this is not including Chronicles. Der Eisendraha has always been one of my favorite maps just because of how awesome the map is getting set up for this map is not hard at all you just you just turn on the power and then feed the dragons and get the wrath of the ancients and then upgrade it which brings us to our next reason why i love this map the bows now the bows are super cool because there's four of them for four players in the map so we got the we got the void bow the wolf bow the lightning bow and the fire bow now all these bows look badass as hell especially the lightning bow because that's the fan favorite bow and just playing this map with these bows are, is so fun and satisfying and we could just train zombies it's such a chill map and just it is one of the most highly dlcs to buy in black ops 3 because it has my favorite one of my favorite zombies maps of all time. Not my favorite, but one of my favorites just because of how awesome it looks and the Ragnaroks and the bows and all that stuff in that DLC just makes me happy to look at when I join that map again. And I can definitely see myself potentially live streaming it or playing that map again. But yeah, that is our number three spot. But yeah, that is our number three spot. In our number two spot, we got the OG Mob of the Dead. I remember playing this map when I was a little bit younger with my brothers and it was a pretty scary ass map. When you think of Mob of the Dead, you think of Alcatraz or Brutus or some crazy ass stuff right there. Already good stuff or maybe you think about the Tomahawks which are so cool. Mob of the Dead is so fun to play. By far the second best map in my opinion definitely goes to Mob of the Dead. The characters are so interesting the afterlight mode is so awesome there's no way no one cannot we got the blunder gat we got the tomahawk and the way to upgrade it we have a pretty cool easter egg that actually requires you to kill a teammate or kill weasel which is pretty damn cool and it also ties into shadows of evil seeing that plane hover fly over shadows of evil is so cool i love mob of the dead i love everything about it i love i love brutus and all that stuff but yeah mob of the dead in our number two spot before we get to the number one spot you know what i always do i add honorable mentions and one of our honorable mentions are going to be ascension now ascension is has always been kind of a simple map you join in, you unlock Pack-a-Punch, and you just get weapons from the box and just start killing zombies and training them. And it always has been kind of a fan-favored map, and now when they added it back to Zombies Chronicles, people still love it. And now that they added the Reagan Mark II, it makes it even better. But yeah, that's one of our honorable mentions. I have a, quite a bit of honorable mentions. I have three. That was one of them. Our second honorable mention is going to be Shadows of Evil. Now, Shadows of Evil was our first Black Ops 3 map, and let me say... The setup for Shadows of Evil isn't really pleasant. Setting up may take quite a while, but once you get all set up and all that stuff, Shadows of Evil can be a very, very enjoyable map with the Apothecon Servant. Not able to upgrade it, but still the best wonder weapon in my opinion. And one of the most fitting maps ever because Shadows of Evil was full of tentacle monsters and they added the Apothecon Servant, which fits so perfectly. We also have a sword in that map, which is... And Shadows of Evil has always been one of my favorites. And that is my second honorable mention. The last honorable mention we got is Kino de Toten. You get in, you get your perks, you turn on the power, and you could just train you can just train on the stage or you could just train outside with your thunder gun. Now Kino de Toten has always been a really cool map. I love the vibe of the map. It's one of my favorite daytime maps and we usually don't get daytime maps. And if we do get a daytime map, they always find a way to make it feel dark. But now let's time to wrap this top five up with the number one spot we got and you guys probably ever know some of you guys will agree with me some of you guys probably won't 
But in our number one spot, we got Origins. By far one of my favorite maps of all time is gotta be this one. Not only does it have one of my favorite easter eggs to do and it was kind of hard, kind of easy, it has a bunch of stuff in this map. We got giant robots, we got four ultimate staffs, we got G strikes, we got thunder fists, and we got a way to upgrade them. We got so much stuff in this. And there is some ciphers that we still have not solved to this day, which just makes Origins even more mysterious and pretty damn fun to play. A lot of people love Origins. I'm so happy to say that I'm one of these people that really, really like Origins, especially when they remastered it for Zombies Chronicles. But yeah, guys, that is gonna have to be the end for the top five best maps for Call of Duty Zombies. <laughs> Make sure you guys leave a like or if you guys didn't agree with me like I said in the beginning of the video If you guys don't agree with me Make sure you try to convince me and to see which other maps I probably missed that were really good and just let me know what your top fives are But yeah, make sure you guys leave a like like I said in the beginning and Subscribe and also make sure to check out my Twitter and Instagram link links down in the description below them Also, let me know what you guys want to see in this channel, but yeah I will, but yeah, I will never wait that long again making another video. I promise. Probably. I don't know. I'm still thinking about videos. So, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace. And always hesitating, kryptonite desires set my heart afire.